Wow. That video and the energy in this room is, is a tough act to follow. Fair Moon, future casters, teachers, professors, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible three days. What a way to start the new year, especially for us at the ITU. I'm not sure we're going to be able to top this this year. Um, at Wednesday's opening, in the beautiful Human Rights and Alliance of Civilizations room, your Fair Moon SG asked, do you dare? I've certainly seen how you have risen to that occasion and to that challenge. You did dare. Working in your eight committees and your two youth assemblies, you've been creative, you've been bold, you've crafted ambitious resolutions that seek to harness technology to overcome some of the world's greatest development challenges. I have been following your discussions with great interest. Your deliberations have shown an impressive level of sensitivity to cultural and linguistic issues, as well as great insight as to how technology may be employed to address these issues. I loved the UNHCR committee's discussion around multilingual online interfaces that could ensure that refugee children get the chance, that they get the chance to continue their education while they're in transit camps. The UNESCO committee was on a similar wavelength, advocating for ethical frameworks that govern the way AI platforms could, deploy, could be deployed in learning to promote education for all. In our ITU committees, you argued for international code of conducts for digital financial services to ensure that we empower more people through mobile money while at the same time protecting individuals from unscrupulous conduct. You also took on the very thorny issue of online privacy. The exciting and untapped potential of ICTs to help redress and mitigate the global climate emergency focused the minds of the UN Environment Committee. And the threat of cyber warfare and the need for international frameworks for de-escalating cyber conflict topped the agenda in the Security Council. You dared to, and you did it. The ILO committee considered the future of work in a digital age and the need to help developing countries to continue to nurture digital skills and to boost digital investment, while at the same time helping communities to adapt to the potential income loss due to automation. Financial support to help poorer nations leverage the enormous potential of e-health platforms and to, sell, to accelerate progress to achieve SDG 3 was one of the important issues discussed by the WHO committee. And the ITU Youth Assembly looked at gender and looked at the issues around online violence and harassment and proposed the creation of a new organization dedicated to promoting gender equality and technology perhaps a future job opportunity for me if you do that. <laughs> In short, you have all demonstrated such a confident, a really confident grasp of the UN issues. You've debated protocol, you've collaborated, you've demonstrated international collaboration, and for me, it's kind of tempting. I feel like I should take the next few weeks off and leave you all in charge. Future casters, ladies and gentlemen, these debates have been instructive and they've also been a lot of fun. But for the ITU, it actually goes far beyond that. 
These issues and how well we manage them will define and shape the future world that you will inherit from us. Just as digital platforms are evolving at lightning speed, the disruptive effects of ICTs are also transforming our world faster than at any other time in human history. It's the young, it's you. It's you who will reap the benefits and you will also bear the brunt of this transformation. Already, half of the global population is under the age of 30. When we look at Sub-Saharan Africa, 40% of the population is under the age of 15. That's a huge, huge youth demographic and it's only getting bigger. But while the young population has grown by almost 140 million over the last 20 years, so too has youth unemployment. And for those young people who do have jobs, Many more are working in informal jobs, more than people of my own generation. At the opening ceremony on Wednesday, we heard from Fabrizio Hothschild, who spoke very movingly about migration. It's worth noting that 70%, 70% of migrant flows comprise people under the age of 30. And according to UNHCR, over half of the world's refugees today are now children. As the ITU's first crop of future casters, global young visionaries, and the first true generation of digital natives, I encourage all of you to continue, to continue actively to think about how we can use the power of ICTs to create the world that we want. A world where everyone, no matter where they live, no matter their gender, or the language that they speak, can access the same basic rights and opportunities. A world where every young person, every young person has the chance to prosper and realize his or her dreams. Distinguished future casters, ladies and gentlemen, before I hand back over the floor, I would like to extend a very heartfelt thanks to many of the people that were responsible for making this event happen. And, and first and foremost, I would like to recognize the extraordinary and tireless and inspirational efforts of the Fair Moon director, Florence Baudry. Florence. Can you stand up? She's back there. Thank you so much, Florence. I've had the opportunity to work with you on all four of the Fair Moon events that the ITU had the privilege of, of, of doing with you, and we are so grateful to your dedication and your passion and your great support. I would also like to thank the Pheromone President, uh, Philippe Launay. Philippe, where are you? Philippe. Oh. Thank you so much. As well as his team, Alain, Jean-Lou, Sophie, and Shakespeare, you are all amazing. Thank you so much. A special thanks and appreciation to the Fairmont Secretary General, uh, Jezienne Gray. You've done a brilliant job. You're welcome to come and lead ITU. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, really, and congratulations. And I don't know if you heard, but what I was saying is you're welcome to come and lead any ITU discussions uh, 
because your, your leadership was really commendable, outstanding. Thank you so much. Uh, also a big congratulations to the two Deputy Secretary Generals. So we have Anael, and we also have Sima. We also have Miriam, who was the head of admins. Miriam. Thank you. As well as Jeremy and Ocean. And we have Imtinan, the head of translation. as well as Ruben and Marianne. Hmm. And of course, on the ITU side, I want to start by giving a very special thanks and my sincere appreciation to uh, the fantastic ITU Fairmoon leader, Sylvia Pohl. Sylvia, if you could stand up. I want to also recognize Carla, Fanny, for the great work you did on the Child Online Protection Session. <laughs> Halima and Elena, who organized the Teachers' Roundtable. As well as Monica, Matthew, and Vicky. Our content experts, we have Sophie in the crowd. Thank you, Sophie. And I also want to recognize Killian, Gael, Daniel, Katya, Patrick, Angela, and Sarah. It was really a whole of ITU effort, and I must say when Sylvia embarked on this process, uh, she was so excited to have so many volunteers from all of the ITU, and really I want to thank, they're not here with us today, but we had our repro services, our graphic design, our badging, registration, security, interpretation, and of course, the energetic ITU cafeteria. <laughs> So my dear future casters, this has really been a watershed event for ITU's Telecommunications Development Bureau. Uh, it also marks the launch of our new global youth strategy, and that global youth strategy will ensure that the essential voice of young people is consistently included in the key debates and deliberations of the ITU. For us, this ceremony may mark the end of Fairmont 2020, but it also marks the beginning of something new, the beginning of something bigger, and something that all of you have been a part of. You've all been instrumental in forging over the last three days this global youth effort of the ITU, and it's something that I really hope you will continue to be a part of in your future studies and when you get out there on the job market. I want to close by really thanking you for your energy, your enthusiasm, your insights, your passion, your dance moves. <laughs> uh, Really a big, big congratulations to all of you on what has been really an outstanding, outstanding Fairmont Futurecasters 2020. Thank you very much. <laughs>